Welcome to the second DIY project video from the Women of Aeronautics and Astronautics, or WOA. WOA's mission is to provide support, empowerment, and networking opportunities for women and other minorities in the aerospace industry. My name is Rashika Rao. I'm a rising senior at the University of Michigan studying space instrumentation engineering, and I've been involved in WOA since my freshman year. Today, I'm going to introduce you to gliders and walk you through a basic design for you to build at home. If you have any questions after watching this video, feel free to submit them via the form linked in the description. We'll answer them on Wednesday in a follow-up video. So, what is a glider? A glider is an aircraft that is designed to fly for long periods of time without an engine. You may already be familiar with the simplest form of a glider, a paper airplane. You might recognize them in the forms of hang gliders and sailplanes. All glider designs are unique in that they have only three forces acting on them, as opposed to the four that a powered aircraft has. In the last video, we talked briefly about lift force. On a conventional powered airplane, there are four forces that act on the aircraft, lift, drag, thrust, and gravity. Lift is generated by the sections of the airplane and opposes the force of gravity that is always acting on the plane. Thrust is generated by the engines of the aircraft, propelling it forward and opposing the force of drag that always acts against the direction of motion of the airplane. Gliders, instead of having engines that generate thrust, rely on low wing loading. Wing loading is a plane's body mass divided by the wing area of the aircraft. The larger wing area relative to its mass, the lower wing loading an aircraft has. This allows a better glide ratio, meaning it can stay in the air for longer even without being powered by an engine. Wings usually have an airfoil, which is a shape that generates lift. The front of the airfoil, which is curved, is referred to as the leading edge, while the end of the airfoil is called the trailing edge. The length of the wings refers to the span and the width refers to the cord. The point on the wing where the lift can be concentrated is called the center of pressure and is usually located 25% of the way from the leading edge of the wing. The center of gravity of a plane is the point where the weight of the glider acts. To achieve the most ideal flight characteristics, the center of gravity, or CG, would ideally be in the same location as the center of pressure. Today, we're going to teach you about a basic glider you can make at home using materials you likely already have. You'll need cardboard, paper clips or clay, a ruler, and a box cutter. You can also optionally use some glue to secure the pieces together. Measure and cut out the dimension figures for the wing, fuselage, and horizontal stabilizer. We recommend using a box cutter for the cleanest cuts, but be careful not to hurt yourself. If you feel more comfortable, feel free to use scissors instead. Additionally, you could print out the template and cut the figures out individually by taping them to a piece of cardboard. Then, trace around them and cut your cardboard parts that way. Next, mark the middle point of the wings and the horizontal stabilizers. Fit the wings into the wing slot and the horizontal stabilizer in the H-stab slot on the fuselage. Make sure the middle point lines up exactly with the body of the glider so the craft is as symmetrical as possible to prevent veering off too much to the left or right. If the parts move around too much, feel free to use some glue to secure them into place. After that, use some clay or attach some paper clips to the nose of the aircraft to add some weight to the front. Add enough weight so the CG of the aircraft is roughly 25% from the leading edge of the wing. It's always better to have a nose-heavy plane than a tail-heavy plane. You can find the CG by trying to balance the aircraft on your finger and seeing where the aircraft balances. Now, you can hand launch your own DIY glider. Feel free to play around with the weight on the nose and see how it affects how far you can launch the glider. Have fun with your gliders, and I hope to see you at the live Q&A the day after tomorrow, Wednesday, June 24th at 6.30pm. Remember, you can submit your questions through the link below.